Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech, and today is iPhone Tip Tuesday. Now, today we're going to talk about Wi Fi Assist. Now, Wi Fi Assist is a feature that's built into our iOS phone devices. And basically, what it allows you to do is disconnect from Wi Fi when your Wi Fi is spotty. So, what that means is maybe uh, you're connected to Wi Fi at home and you're on the opposite side of your house, and the Wi Fi just isn't super strong. So what the phone will do with Wi-Fi Assist is automatically disconnect from Wi-Fi and connect to your cellular or draw from your cellular. Uh, and basically what that means is that it uses data. Now this could be good or bad because as a, on the plus side of it, you're going to get a more cohesive uh, browsing experience or video streaming experience or whatever you're doing because if your Wi-Fi starts to get a little spotty, your data plan, the cellular connection will pick up uh, kind of you know where your Wi-Fi is lacking. Uh, but that's going to use your data. So if you have metered data, which means you have a set amount of data that you're able to use each month, um, Wi-Fi Assist may end up being kind of a problem because if you start streaming a lot of videos, you know, doing a lot of things on your phone and the Wi-Fi dips out a little bit and you then you end up drawing from your data plan. Um, so you wanna be careful with that. Now, if you find yourself wanting to uh, really be cautious because maybe you are always getting near or maybe going a little bit over your, um, your allotted data for the month, you may wanna shut this feature off. So let me show you exactly how to do that. You need to go into your settings app and tap on cellular. You then scroll down to the very bottom past all of the apps that are listed there, and there's an option called Wi-Fi Assist. Now, all you have to do is turn that off, and it's going to uh, turn that off, and you won't have to worry about it. Above that, all of those apps that are listed there are applications that could potentially use data. Now, this, these are apps that can use uh, both Wi-Fi data and cellular data, but they're listed here because there's a chance that if you use them or you allow them to run in the background, that they can also use cellular data. So if you wanted to shut some of these down just so that you could um, prevent them from accessing data while you are connected to cellular, all you have to do is toggle the switches. Um, now up at the top of the screen, you know, you have the switches for uh, the toggles for cellular data, turning that on or off. And you can see your cellular data usage for the current period of, um, of your cell plan. Uh, but underneath that is where you have all of the apps listed. And I have quite a few of them. I have quite a few apps that are listed that could potentially use cellular. And these could be for anything from Amazon's app connecting so that you can do a search for a product to Netflix, which allows you to stream movies. Um, some are going to use a little bit of data where some could use a lot of data if you use them. So with the Wi-Fi Assist feature, it definitely helps make for a better experience because instead of your phone trying to hang on to a weak connection with Wi-Fi, it actually will disconnect and use cellular, giving you a better overall experience, but that does result in using a bit extra data. So if you want to prevent that, you could simply turn that feature off or leave it on if you are comfortable with the amount of data that you're using and fairly on top of that. To know for sure how much data you are using, go to your wireless provider and look um, either using their app or in the, the online website that they have. They should be able to show you how much of your data you've been using. And you can even go back and look at past months as well to see how close you're coming to the limits. So that's going to do it for today's iPhone Tip Tuesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get these tips each week. And we also have other tips and videos released throughout the week as well. Subscribing helps us and it helps you stay notified whenever we put out new videos. So thanks so much for checking out State of Tech and we hope to see you back soon.